everybody, KC Zero VII Tom here. TLJ's inside getting ready. Uh, we got some stuff going out today, so uh, I'm soloing it again. It's for our YouTube channel, it sure is turning into mine. Um, we're out here next to Pooh. We're gonna shoot a quick video on how to dewinterize your water system. I was gonna do this on Saturday morning, and Friday afternoon it got to 50, nice and clear. I thought, oh, nice out here, you know, t shirt, maybe a pair of shorts, as you know, they're talking highs in the upper 50s. Then the weather gods, no, we can't let him have that much fun. Saturday morning we had an inch and a half of snow and it was that heavy wet snow and I don't think it got above 40 all yesterday. So it is fairly decent right now. We do have a storm front going in, so we'll come through the area. So we're going to quick run through this. Now what caused this video, a couple I know in Mason City who bought a used, new to them, nothing wrong with buying used campers, first time out, first time they ever, they owned one camping, both of them, which is I would have loved to have been what's when they're out camping, but they, uh, when they bought the camper, included was the winterization of the rig, and when, about middle of February, they got a postcard from the dealer saying they're doing a special $69.99 to de-winterize your rig, and they asked me, what's all in de-winterizing? Kind of hard to say what the dealer was going to do. I'm sure he's going to flush the water line, possibly, um, bleach it, you know, shock it to, uh, sterilize the water system which is depends on how you take care of your water some say you do some I don't I've never had to bleach or sanitize my water system because they take very good care of it because what goes in has to come out and I want to make sure it goes in nice and leaves nice the uh, and he could be doing some inspection too who knows what the dealer is going to do I'm not going to sit and nitpick on a dealer who uh, not knowing all the information um, I was trying to talk him in to show up at their place and show them how to de-winterize the heavy guys get a different look at a trailer but they were a little camera shy, so we'll do it here. Uh, what we're gonna do here, Pooh is all set up, still in uh, winter mode. The uh, I was gonna move her back a little bit, so a little flatter ground, but the battery was dead. I could, it turned over, but barely, so I got the charger on there now. The water line, drug out. Again, you wanna use your uh, dedicated safe to drink water line, because your water system, you wanna make sure it stays nice and clean. First thing again, I got my hose around here with the nozzle on it. We'll uh, flush it, get all the air and all, any little critters out. Then we got our adapter to go into the city. Uh, the lines inside are still pressurized with antifreeze. All the faucets are closed and the drain points are closed and the hot water heater is in bypass mode. Uh, we don't need the filter because like I said, they're going to be dropping this water, so no sense to uh, using the, the filter. Again, we'll uh, three or four count, five if you're really concerned. Uh, pop this open. As you can see, we got city hookup in our water tank. We'll stir it out by adding water into the city line. We'll go inside and we'll flush it. Normally, I'd kind of wait till it gets a little warmer, but uh, like I said, that gets us out to show you guys if you want to try this yourself at home. It's fairly easy. Got the water hooked up, the water's turned on. We'll pan around here and we'll open up. I'll we'll actually take out both the hot and the cold. And if we go to the one side, then to the other. And one thing I know is that when you have the antifreeze in there, you get a lot of foam. And I usually just wait till the foam has stopped. Uh, the kitchen sink here is the furthest one down the line. It looks pretty good. We'll move on over to the bathroom. That looks pretty good. Then we got the bathtub, which we usually don't use too much. We'll uh, give that a little extra longer shot here now in the next phase. We got most of it out. Now kind of what I like to do next are some drain points in the line there's one down here i'll show you in two by the hot water heater then we'll put the hot water heater out of bypass right now it's in bypass we'll talk about that in a little bit see if this shows up at all but right here is a low point on a mine you just pull it up you can hear the water running up and you'll just have to trust me on this one uh, there's two low points down here now when you open these up, you're going to drop your pressure throughout the system. So we'll go back up and close off that first one. 
Yeah, we got the front one closed. Again, you just want to open up to blow off what little left in the line. You got most of it out when you did the sinks. What we'll do now is we'll close off the cold water line uh, low point and take the hot water heater out of bypass. So you put the hot water heater into bypass, that will hold six gallons to 10 gallons, depending on what type you have. You don't need to buy six gallons or 10 gallons of RV antifree, that two bucks a deal. Um, if your camper does not have a bypass kit in, you can easily install those. They run 20 bucks. And if you can save yourself six gallons of RV antifreeze at two bucks a gallon, that's what, six times two is 12. Math is right today. And uh, that's if you can find it that cheap. But after about two years, you pay for the kit. And uh, it takes me roughly a gallon to uh, pressurize the lines and put antifreeze in all the traps here and poop. Okay, we got the cold water line low point turned off. The hot water line is still turned on. And reading it, my instructions to go and bypass, we want to turn this knob this way and this one that way. And we can hear the hot water tank starting to fill. And uh, the reason we leave the hot water drain point is now that air that's in the hot water tank is being purged out to that uh, low point belt, low point drain. Okay, the pitch, uh, the noise that the water heater is making with the water going in and removing out the air is changing. And I'll reach down and close off the low point for the hot water line. And we'll repeat purging the sinks and we'll go from there. I don't hear bubbles anymore. No bubbles. Nice clean water coming out. Looks good. There we go, nice clean water come out. That's almost done. Now the important one, the throne. Again, we'll just dump all this. Oops, grab the right part of the valve. Uh, the throne here has two levers. The first one is water, and the second one opens the flapper. And there we go. What we'll do here, there's a chance of slight freezing here on the next couple of days, so we want to be careful. And I do have another little jug in the house. I'll add a little antifreeze to this so it, in case it does freeze, but the rest of the system is going to be drained. So. And you do want to keep water on the in the toilet to protect that seal. That seal needs to be a little bit moist to hold water. If it dries out, uh, it's not going to be a good seal, and you're not going to have this um, water here. This water is very important. That is a vapor barrier that keeps the real smelly stuff from the tank from coming up, seeping up in here. And uh, if you ever notice that when you do flush it and you got your head down here, it can be a quite pleasant smell. We switched off the little short adapter that goes in the city line and put our tank filler. Make sure this is clean. It's amazing you get some stuff growing in here a little bit. I don't think it's anything dangerous. It's just a calcium buildup. It's a little cloudy. I just, every once in a while, to use a bottle of wash and just run the uh, bristles through it and clean it up. Uh, again, make sure you run this for a good count of five. Then we'll open up. And we want to add. Oops, wrong one. I always close the door, let the hose kind of hang on the door to, uh, so we don't bend that uh, clear plastic tubing, like so. We're back inside. If you listen carefully, you can hear the water tank filling up. I do have the drain on the bottom open. Uh, unfortunately, my drain line is real small compared to the size of the filler. We'll just get a little bit of water in here that will activate the pump, and we will... Uh, there's a little section in there we just again want to just flush out some of the stuff in the lines make sure real good then we'll open up all the drain cocks and let her drain out and then okay we're back here in the control panel we'll turn our pump on since the lines are pressurized from the garden hose it's not going to kick the pump in until we blow some pressure off as you can see we got a little bit of um, antifreeze in there and that's from that section of the line from the pump um, into the system. So since we did uh, the blowing out through the city connection. So you always wanna make sure, it's gonna take a couple times to do this, so. Okay, I went through and cracked all the valves open again. Pump's gonna kick on you a little bit. We're getting some air in the system out. And uh, 
Now what we will do, we'll still let the water tank fill up for about three quarters of the way right now. I just checked the gauges. I will uh, turn the pump off and crack open all the drains of low points in the lines. And I always open up this kitchen sink faucet and uh, allow air, that allow air to come in through the, that faucet behind the water and it helps it drain. We want to make sure we get most of the water out of the system and the way pool is situated uh, with the nose still in low down position, low point, that's going to help the water get out and with that area behind it from the kitchen sink, 99% of the water is going to be out of the system so there's no chance of any contamination. That's the important part when you're done camping is dump your water. Don't leave water in the tank. Don't leave water in the lines. Open up all your drain points. Let it drain out. Now, since all this is gray water, technically, and we're on our property, private property, we can dump the gray tank, only the gray tank. You don't want to dump the black tank because even though how you may think it's very clean, I'm pretty proud of how I keep my tank clean. I make sure it's always flushed and a lot of water ran through it when we're done camping. But there's always a chance it's the floaties or something that was stuck on the side of the wall now it's free, we don't want that out on the street or in your yard. The uh, water coming out of the gray tank, uh, RV antifreeze is non-poisonous to humans and pets and plants. You could actually put a five gallon bucket in there and take it over water, tree or water some bushes, stuff like that. Okay, the hose is put away. If you don't have caps for your drinking hose, you can always hook the two ends together. That'll keep critters out. Make sure you drain it. Make sure you hold up all that water to drain out. We don't want to keep stale water in our system. Over here, my tanks I got the caps on those we'll shut and lock that up when we're done over here we can pop off my drain line you always get a little bit of water past the seal then we'll open up and now this is just gray this is not black this is just gray you can see a little pink in there from the antifreeze that'll drain out here in the alley it's not gonna hurt anything over here the fresh water tank is draining everything is nice and secure and we're done as you can see, de-winterizing is just as easy as winterizing. Right now, all of the uh, low points are open. The kitchen sink's open. We're getting water drained out of the system. As you saw, the, uh, the fresh water tank is draining. That'll take a good half hour. It was full, and that's a little bitty hole that's got to drain out. But it's going to get all that out. The gray tank probably had not, I hadn't even had that valve open for two minutes. By the time I had the camera off, it was pretty much shut down. That's all buttoned up. The camper's buttoned up. We're going to move on to the next project. Everybody have a safe and fun spring, 7-3. Be sure you tell your friends, neighbors, other hams. Subscribe, hit that bell to get notification when new videos come out. Add comments below, 7-3 everybody. Three. Knock it off. Why are you bouncing around?